This is the long-awaited video. Oh, I guess really not long-awaited for y'all since many didn't know. But, uh, I've been waiting about 25 days for this order. And I finally just got the grenade. Uh, I actually just got home with it. And the only reason it's open like this is because, you know, I'm one-handed here. So, I, uh, had to make it easier for me to get to. Um, it's my GMP M4. Uh, majority of y'all know, uh... 25 rounds a second at 430 FPS. Um, then I ordered the GMP Knights type barrel mounted uh, long M203. And it came with a huge ugly orange tip that I scraped off. And that's, uh, it left marks. Those little white marks aren't scratches in the paint. It's like some kind of, it's like a primer from the orange paint. Like they put white and then they put orange over it. And that's what that is. And I've yet to be able to get it all off. And it's a pain in the ass. And then if I've been uh, playing with the M203. You know, I've had it mounted on my gun. And I've had it out in the field. So it's got a couple little marks from, you know, scratching on a tree or smacking up in a window seal. Um, so this is the M203. Uh, Colt trademarks. That actually came filled with putty. And it was a pain in the ass to get out. Um, because I thought it just, you know, you pick it up and it peels right out, but it's like a, a waxy clay type of stuff, and it didn't. It stayed in there, so I had to get a toothpick and clean out every trade. Um, as you see, there's some Dremel narcs, just to make it easier to mount. Um, on my M4, I don't, I guess my barrel is out of spec or something. I kind of had to, yeah looks pretty bad. I had to Dremel about a millimeter and a half forward to make enough space for the uh, 203 to mount. Um, I actually put a piece of paper under this uh, little switch. You, that's how, you know, that's how the 203 comes apart. You push this down and then the, the tube will slide off. That way you can clean and lube the track. But, uh, I just stuck a piece of paper because whenever I'd slide it forwards, I'd slide the tube right off. And I was having problems, so I was like, fuck it. Uh, this is the shell I just got. Um, it's a plain Jane box, you know. Little quality control stamp. I don't know what the 8 means. I guess maybe this was like a shoebox heat. Um... That's that's it. It came wrapped in tin foil. And there's the grenade. Uh, it's the MIC. They call it MIC. You know, M I C, which stands for Made in China. M203. Fuck. If I could hold this phone in my mouth, I'd so do it. Damn it! Holy shit! Uh, apparently the grenade came loaded with gas. I really did not see that coming. Here it is. Now it smells like green gas. Uh, I got the blue one just because I like blue. Uh, it looks pretty dark in the picture, but it's actually like a teal-ish kind of color. Uh, and you can also get it in like purple and gold. I, I just got it in blue. Uh, I have to say, for it being made in China, it's actually really, really nice. It's really smooth. I don't see many flaws. There's a small little flaw right there. But other than that, it looks really, really good. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know how a uh, 203 works, you pretty much just stick the shell in, if I could even get the shell in. Well, I can't do it one-handed, but pretty much you put the shell in, and then you slide it back, and then you fire it. So, 
<clears throat> yeah, I'll uh, do a shooting review, etc., etc., like always. So, um, that'll be the next video.